Hey guys, welcome to my 25th video and welcome to Rich's Methods. In this video I'm going to show how to change a shifter knob on a manual transmission. You can buy these shifter knobs at any auto store. I've seen this at AutoZone. I bought mine off of Amazon and in the upper right corner of your screen you're going to see links to my Amazon store and in that store you're going to find this product as well as the, as well as the other products I use in my videos. It just makes it a little easier for you guys to find you know what I'm using in my videos. Also you'll see links to my Facebook account as well as my Tumblr account, so if you want to check it out, feel free. As a uh, homage, I guess you could say, to my first video, I have that actually hyperlinked in the upper left corner of your screen. In that video, I show how to change a shifter indicator light on a Pontiac Grand Am, and it, as well as other cars. It's, it's very similar. Um, and because I did that for my first video, I thought I would do something with a shifter in my 25th video. So let's zoom in on the manual transmission of my car and uh, I'll show you how to change your shifter knob. It's really easy. Okay, so first you start by turning counterclockwise to remove the factory installed shifter knob. This is true of most uh, manufacturers. You'll find that all you do is just turn it counterclockwise to turn it to the left. So lefty loosey, let's take this thing off. Comes off really easily. And there you go, just put that off to the side. And now you can see you just have a threading here on the shifter itself or on the uh, actual uh, manual stick here. And what you want to do is, is you want to place, there's a cover at the bottom of the shifter knob. So at the bottom here, you'll see that there's actually a piece here that actually unscrews. Take that off carefully. You want to take this bottom part and make sure you put that over top of the shifter. So that's your first step. Make sure you place that on. Okay, next you'll notice that in the package there's going to be all these little adapters. And all these are, are to cover this threading once you put the shifter over top of it. So you want to do is pick an adapter that's the right length and the right diameter that'll fit over your threading. And this one actually fits perfectly. You'll see the length is long enough and the diameter is just right. So it fits and just slides over. You might have to use the smaller or the larger ones. Just depends on the type of shifter knob or type of threading that you have underneath. So then you can just put those aside. You can just hold on to them if you need to. And we're going to look at the shifter itself. You'll notice at the bottom of the shifter there's actually these holes. And in these holes are going to put these little screws. Make sure also when you're picking these screws that go on the side of the shifter knob, make sure that you pick that the sh screws are all the same size because some of them are a little bit longer than others. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to use the shorter ones. You might want to do that yourself as well, especially if you have a thick diameter or wide diameter uh, shifter uh, itself. Um, that way you'll be able to screw them in flush uh, with the outside of the shifter itself. Uh, I just ran into some problems when I was doing it myself. So yeah, just make sure you pick the right size and make sure that they're all the same size. And you'll see that in your kit, uh, this is what the pilot uh, manual shifter knob. You'll see that there's actually three long and three short. I'm just going to grab this last short one. Screws actually go into the holes. And what you want to do is I'd place them in first beforehand just slightly. Just thread them in very lightly. That way when you put it onto the shifter you won't have much adjustment to do. So you can even use the Allen wrench that comes with it if you'd like. They all come in a bag like so. You'll see all the different little screws here. Um, and make sure that you have the side that goes into the Allen wrench. And just so you know what an Allen wrench is, this is what an Allen wrench looks like. It has a, I believe it's a six-pointed um, locking mechanism that actually goes in. It works just like a screwdriver. So pretty much you just place it at the end. And uh, that's how you can tighten it a little bit more. Place, I believe that there's three of them. There's four, there's three of them here on the bottom of the shifter knob. You see the three holes. Place those three in before you actually place the shifter knob over top. Here you go, I have all three of these threaded in. You can see I don't have them screwed in all the way. You can still see that they're inside the metal. That way when I slip them over top here, they won't be pushing down. And I believe the way that you would want to place the shifter is, let me just lift this up just slightly. You'd want this, you see how the indentations are on the side? This is where your hands can be gripping the shifter. So you want this to be facing forward like so. Pretty much just simply slide this over top. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you're going to tighten these Allen screws on the side. Make sure that the shifter is centered as best you can. You're going to hold on to it while you do this. You're going to tighten them down all around. And try to do it in an even manner because that way uh, you'll make sure that it's an even grip all the way around. So make sure your emergency brake is on when you're doing this because you don't want your car to be moving around while you're doing this, that's for sure. Okay, so make sure everything is good and tight. Make sure that the handle is on tightly because you don't want this coming off while you're driving. 
You want to make sure you can't turn it. And then what you want to do is you want to thread that bottom piece up back on. And I actually have two shifters here I can show you. Um, what we're going to be doing is just threading this bottom part back on like that to give it a fit finished uh, look. Okay, so there you go. I just put a new shifter on my car. This is the old one that it used to look like. It was leather. Now I have a nice carbon fiber shifter knob. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If not, this is Rich's Methods, and I will see you on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.